in this video i'll consider the design of synchronous counter design of mode 6 synchronous counter using d flip flop so we need to design mode 6 counter using d flip flop in general we can represent it as mod n counter mod n counter has n states mod n counter has total n states it varies from 0 to n minus 1 so similarly now here we can see that the value of n is 6 that is mod 6 counter means n is equal to 6 the mod 6 counter will count from 0 to 5 that is it will count from 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 from 5 it will go back to 0 this is the working of mod 6 counter so the first step is in design the first step is we have to find the number of flip flops required that is represented as n n is number of flip flops required the formula is 2 power n must be greater than or equal to the value of n is 6 here so we can represent it as 2 power n must be greater than or equal to 6 so in this case if we consider n equal to 0 then the value of this will be 1 so 1 is not greater than or equal to 6 let me consider n equal to 1 if we take n equal to 1 it will be 2 so 2 is not greater than 6 if we take n is equal to 2 2 power 2 that is 4 4 is not greater than 6 if we take n equal to 3 so 2 power 3 is 8 8 is greater than or equal to 6 therefore we should choose the value of n as n must be equal to 3 then this condition will satisfy it means that we need three flip-flops so to design this mod 6 counter we need to use 3d flip-flops so the second step is we have to write the excitation table for the d flip-flop so first let me write the excitation table excitation table for d flip-flop i can write for d flip flop so the possible inputs are so in excitation table qn is the present state qn plus 1 is the next state d is flip flop input possible inputs are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so in excitation table the value of d input is same as next state output that is in Flip flop in a d flip flop output follows input so the value of in these are the outputs output follows input it means the value of d will be same so this is the excitation table for d flip flop now with the help of excitation table we will write the truth table so as i said we need three number of d flip flops let me assume qc qb and qa are the outputs of uh, three flip flops dc db da are the inputs of three flip flops let qc plus qb plus and qa plus are the outputs of flip flops after applying the clock pulse so here since we need n is equal to 3 that is n is equal to 3 we have possible states are 2 power 3 that is 8 so the count varies from 0 to 7 let me write the present state values the possible present state values are 0 to 7 let me write 0 to 7 in binary that is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 the corresponding decimal values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so as i mentioned in mod 6 counter the count it counts from 0 to 5 that is 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 after 5 it will go back to 0 in the same way we have to fill this truth table now i can write so when the present input is 0 next value is 1 so when present input is when present output is 0 next state output is 1 that is when it is 0 the next after applying clock pulse it must become 1 when it is 1 
it should become 2 that is 0 1 0 we should write like this when it is 2 2 must goes to 3 that is next state will be 3 when it is 3 next state is 4 when it is 4 next state is 5 when it is 4 next state is 5 next when it is 5 next state is 0 so here 1 0 1 is 5 next state is 0 that is we should write 0 so for these for 6 and 7 the value of the flip flop may be 0 or 1 it is known as don't care that is don't care is represented by x symbol so we have represented present state values and next state values now we have to write flip flop inputs so flip flop inputs are written with the help of excitation table so now here i can observe that qc is the flip flop output qc plus is next state so i can consider this 0 0 when present qc is present state qc plus is next state so when qc is 0 qc plus is 0 that is present state next state that is 0 0 here d input is 0 so when it is 0 0 dc is 0 when it is 0 0 that is 0 when it is 0 0 it is 0 when it is 0 1 we can refer this table 0 1 means flip flop input is 1 here it is 1 so we have 1 1 for 1 1 it is 1 we have 1 0 1 0 is 0 we have 1 so this is not defined means it is x so it is x so now we have to consider qb and qb plus to write flip flop inputs db db inputs so we should consider qb and qb plus so when it is 0 0 for 0 0 it is 0 for 0 1 it is 1 for 1 1 it is 1 for 1 0 1 0 it is 0 for 0 0 it is 0 for 0 0 again it is 0 for 1 x which is not defined it means it is don't care now let me write da inputs considering qa and qa plus that is that is 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 0 that is 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 0 next to our don't care it means it is don't care so now after writing the truth table now we have to derive the boolean expression for flip flop inputs that is boolean expression for dc db and da since here we have eight states it means we should use three variable k map that is eight cell k map let me consider this k map is for dc for dc input i can write for dc input so here i am using three variable k map which has got eight cells this is the way of representation of three variable k map let me write the values so here we have 0 0 0 1 that is 0 0 0 1 next we have 1 0 x x that is 4 5 1 0 x x now we should do the grouping of ones that is here we can observe that this one and x together i can make a pair the value of this is i can write this is nothing but qb qa qb qa now this one and this x i can make one more pair this x and this one i can make a pair the value of this is it is covers this column and first column common is 0 0 is with respect to qa that is qa bar and here it covers the row qc that is qc therefore the value of dc is dc is equal to we have qb qa qb qa plus qc qa bar plus qc qa bar so this is the dc input value I will take this came this is for db 
so for db the values are 0 1 1 0 that is 0 1 1 0 we have 0 0 x x next is 0 0 x x let me do the grouping for this so here this one and x I can make one pair So the value for this will be it covers this column which is QB QA bar QB QA bar. So now here we have one more one. This one cannot be covered with any of the other one or don't care. So it will become independent single cell grouping. So value of for this is QC bar. Here it is QB bar QA. QB bar QA. So therefore the value of db will be I can write db is equal to we have qc bar qb bar qa that is qc bar qb bar qa plus qb qa bar plus qb qa bar. So this is the db input for the next flip flop. Now consider this K map for DA input. Let me concentrate on DA column. Here we have 1 0 1 0. That is 1 0 1 0. Next we have 1 0 x x. That is 1 0 x x. Let me do the grouping. So here this one and this x, this one, this one. Together we can make a quad. So this is one quad the value of this is with respect to these two column common is 0 which is QA bar therefore this is the expression for DA that is DA will be equal to QA bar thus we found the boolean expression for the inputs of three flip-flops the three flip-flops are DC DB and DA. The next step is we have to draw the circuit so let me consider this is dc this is flip flop c this is flip flop b this is flip flop a let me assume input of this flip flop is dc output is qc qc bar let input for this flip flop is db output is qb qb bar input of this flip flop is assume da and output is qa and QA bar. Here I am considering negative edge flip flop. Negative edge means at falling edge of the clock the flip flop will be active. Here we can use positive edge also. If you want to use positive edge don't use this bubble. This is the clock signal since in this is a synchronous counter clock signal is given to all the flip flops simultaneously. This is the clock signal which is given clock input of all the flip flops. So these are the flip-flop inputs. Now let me draw the circuit. So this is for DC we have QB, QA, QC, QA bar. So for QB, QA I should use one AND gate. Let this be AND gate. We need two AND gate. This is QB, QA bar. This is QB. This is QA. And here we have this is QC. This is QA bar output of this is connected to OR gate let me use OR gate like this output of OR gate is connected to DC DB we have QC bar QB bar QA let me use 3 input AND gate 3 input AND gate the inputs are we have QC bar QB bar and QA another AND gate QB QA bar let me use another AND gate that is QB QA bar the output of this is connected to OR gate this output is connected to OR gate this output is connected to OR gate output of OR gate is connected to DB input DA is equal to QA bar so here this QC bar or QA bar any inputs for the gates is nothing but taking from here for example QC bar means 
this line is connected to here and QB bar means this line is connected to here. If I draw the line, the circuit will looks complex. So here directly I have written inputs. This QB bar means the input has come from this line. Similarly, I will show here DA is nothing but QA bar. This is QA bar output is connected to DA like this. So this at QC, at QB and at QA, we will get the output. So this is the circuit diagram for mod 6 counter. So this will perform the mod 6 counter. It will count from 0 to 5. Thank you for watching.